Hello everybody, so called Tom here to talk to you about how to hack an air conditioner for camping. So we all know camping in a hot tent or trailer is no fun. If you open up the doors and windows, well then you're probably letting the bugs in. You know, if you live in some place with a, a humid climate, then it's also no fun. So there's a couple different ways to do this. One is the hack where you basically blow a fan across some ice cubes and and get cool air and that works until the ice melts and then you're just blowing more warm wet air across. Then comes the RV air conditioner. These are big, noisy, and expensive so that doesn't work for our little trailers. Another option is uh, something called the pet cool. It's now called the climate right. We originally designed for cooling uh, dog houses in hot climates and they've modified them now so that they'll work on a teardrop trailer or other small trailers and they're remote, they use a hose and have this through wall adapter so that you can just blow the warm air out and the cool air in. And I've sort of ad adapted that idea using the cheapest air conditioner I could find at Home Depot. You know, the warm air gets recirculated back, cooled through the system, and cool air comes back in and it's very quiet and very cost effective. So um, here's an example of the the air conditioner I bought. It's the cheapest one. It's just about the little knobs. If you want to spend a little bit more, you can buy one that has a remote control and you can set the remote control thermostat inside the unit and um, adjust the temperature, but it hasn't been a problem for me. Here's an example of the plenum you build to go on there. This one's a straight through design, so the air on the bottom is the warm air coming back and it can spray it on the coils. Whereas the one that I've done is a cross flow, so the air goes across the front of the coils instead of straight at it. And that's important to, for icing, especially in humid areas. So with the straight through, the air is always pointed at one spot on the coil. And if you got a lot of moisture in the air, well, that can build up as some ice. Once you get that ice buildup started, the air is still focused on that spot. So the ice can't go away, the ice starts to grow, and eventually that, that ice blocks all your airflow, and all you're getting is dampness through the system. So with the cross flow, as you see here, it's completely different. The, um, it stays much drier if the moisture does start to spread across the coils. It's spread across the entire system, so you're less likely to build up that block of ice right in the middle. And the reason that is, is uh, evident in this picture. So the air has to make a turn. So when the air makes a turn, the moisture tries to go straight because it's heavier. And so that tends to make it spread further across the entire coil and you have much less chance of it icing up. Here's a picture of what it looks like inside the air coming back out. There's a divider in the middle to keep the, the warm air and the cooler separated. Here's the bottom. What I do is just reach in there and adjust the temperature and fan speed to what I want and leave it for pretty much the weekend. Once you've got your plenum built, you need to get those hoses in through the wall. So I use the marine deck plate. These are watertight. They've got all kinds of colors, stainless steel if you want them, and it's pretty standard. You can also go to Climate Right, and they will sell you what the, for about 50 bucks the kit they use to install the system on theirs. I've also added a little CPU fan on, you can see on the top so that the, the cold air coming back. If I don't have the air conditioner hooked up, it'll still blow um, cool air from outside on a cool night across the inside and keep it from being stuffy in the trailer. But I'm really happy with this system. It, uh, and yes, you could think it, it could be adapted to a tent. You don't have necessarily have to put holes in the wall. If you have some sort of a sliding window, you could make a piece of wood that goes in there with the holes and have it just blow in and out and have it be a temporary thing. Um, you can use this in all kinds of circumstances. So good luck.